Hello, this project has been a long time coming. I love this leafy lace stitch that was designed by Handmade by Stacy J. Stacy is my friend. We collaborated and when she made the stitch, I said, this is what I'll use to make the leafy lace wrap and isn't it just gorgeous. I love the texture. I love the holes. I love the laciness of it. And then I added a double wrapped double crochet cluster. I know you want to know how to make this. So let's get started. So let's make the leafy lace wrap. We will be using Lion Brain Mandala Ombre. This is a four weight. Recommend an eye hook. 344 cake, 44 yards per cake and it's 150 grams, 5.3 ounces. To make this leafy lace wrap, this is also in the color Chi. To make this leafy lace wrap, you will need 1,200 to 1,300 yards. So three cakes plus a little more. If you want to shorten the border and use only three cakes, you are more than welcome to do that. We'll be using an I crochet hook, an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. This wrap is 80 inches long 16 and a half inches wide. Each leaf segment between the modified front post stitches is four inches wide, and the leaf is approximately four inches tall. A little, little shorter than four inches tall. The completed wrap is 80 inches long with a border. Without the border, it is 64 inches long if you don't want to make this extra border. But I do want to say the border is absolutely gorgeous. You finish off with a round of double crochets, then a treble mesh, a treble chain one mesh, and then this unique stitch. I'm not sure what the specific name for this stitch is, but I'm calling it double wrapped double crochet cluster. I ran into this stitch years ago. This stitch is executed in a chain four, chain five arch. The stitches are under or wrapped around the chain arch. And then you place three double crochets under that arch and then wrap your double crochets completely around all three posts to make this double wrapped double crochet cluster. So let me show you how to make this wrap. I will only do the beginning double crochet row and one segment of leaves, and then we will move on to the border to shorten this. But I'll be right back. Okay, so we start with a slip knot. Place that loop over your hook and slip that knot down. Now we need to chain 59. I will go off camera and finish the 59 chains and be right back. The 59 chains are finished. I will double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So here's one, two, three. Double crochet right in this chain. You can use any method you would like to put the stitch in the chain. Some folks put it in the back loop. Some folks do as I do. Some folks put it underneath the top two loops. However you choose to do that is up to you. I will finish this and meet you at the end of the row. Okay, so I have executed 57 double crochets. Now I need to chain two and turn. We are at the end of row one. Now execute a double crochet in the first stitch, this chain two does not count as a stitch, and the second stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, and execute a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, a double crochet in the next two stitches. Now we need to make a modified front post treble. And we do this so that there isn't a gap or a hole in the pattern. And how we do this is yarn over twice, go around the front of the post. Let me do that again. Yarn over twice, go around the post, this post, front to back. So I'm going in at the front. Around the back and back out the front. 
then yarn over, pull through, you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now stop. Let's just ignore this for right now. And that stitch where we are executing that post, pull this back just a little bit, and you can see the top two loops of that double crochet. We're going to execute a double crochet under those top two loops. Let me define these a little bit more for you. Let me pull my... So there's a double crochet in that stitch, and this is the stitch that the post has been used for the treble. So we yarn over and we insert our hook under those top two loops. All right, yarn over, pull it back just a little. We can see those top two loops. As you can see, I went under the top two loops. Yarn over and just make a double crochet. So it's yarn over, pull through two, but we're pulling through, yarn over, pull through all three. And we have just connected those two stitches and that modified front post treble with a double crochet behind it closes the gap. So now let's move on to the leaf sequence. We need to execute a double crochet in the next three stitches. And now chain two and skip three double crochets. One, two, three. I've already yarned over. Now I'm going to execute, let me make sure, one, two, three. Now I'm going to execute three double crochets in this stitch. Three double crochets, now chain two, skip three. I'm gonna go ahead and yarn. One, two, three, I've already yarned over, and a double crochet in the next three stitches. Two, three, and a modified front post treble in this next stitch. Let me show you that again. Yarn over twice, go in from the front, out the back, draw up a loop, you have four on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and stop. Now yarn over and execute a double crochet in that stitch where the post is being used or behind that treble. We have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. We have executed the first leaf segment. I need to do this two more times. And after I have executed those two more leaf segments, I will stop and show you how to finish the row. Okay, so I have finished the third segment. I have one, two, three segments made. Now I finish, and I just finished my last modified front post treble. So to finish round two, I need to double crochet in the next two stitches. Chain, whoops chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one and two double crochets, skipping this stitch in the last two. But I need to show you something that I prefer to do. Instead of double crocheting in the last stitch, I put my hook down in between the last stitch and the turning chain, pull up that loop just a little bit more and execute my last double crochet. I feel like that creates a finished edge. All right, now it's chain two and move on to row three. So I've chained two and turned. So this is very intuitive right here. You're just basically repeating this part. So chain two, double crochet in this first stitch and double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, chain one, skip the chain one space and double crochet in the top of the double crochet. Chain one, skip the chain one space and double crochet in the next two double crochets. Now we need to make a modified back post treble crochet stitch. So it is executed exactly the same way, but the post or the treble is sitting on the front. So we need to go around this post, but we'll be doing it backwards. So we're going to the back. 
So yarn over twice, go around the post of that treble in the back, pull up a loop. You have four on the hook. One, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, ignore those two loops, and then we'll execute a double crochet under the top two loops of this double crochet. There we go. And we just made a modified back post treble. And as you can see, the posts will be toward the front. The texture will be on the front. All right, let's move on. So we will double crochet in the next two double crochets. We will skip this double crochet and skip the chain two space. And we will chain two and execute a back post treble stitch around the next double crochet. So yarn over twice, go around through to the back, draw up our loop. We will have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We don't need to do anything special with that. It's not a modified stitch. Now this next stitch, this center stitch, will hold a back post treble. Then we will execute a double crochet in that, in the top two loops. We will execute a double crochet in the top of that double crochet. And then we will execute a back post treble again around this post. So it will be a back post treble, a double crochet in the top two loops, then another back post treble, and that second back post treble will just fit right underneath that first back post treble. So I'll go very slow and show you how to do that. So yarn over twice around from the back through to the back, yarn over, pull up a loop, and we have four on the hook. Now, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's a back post treble. Now, a double crochet in the top of that double crochet. Now, another back post treble in that center stitch. Kind of go to the back and look. It goes right underneath that first back post treble. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then a back post treble in the last, around the last double crochet. Okay. So you can see the beginnings of the leaf. This is the back of your work. This is the front of your work. And can you see how nicely that is coming along? All right, let me go back over that real quick. I'll just talk you through this. Here's our modified, here's our modified back post treble. Then two double crochets. We skip a double crochet, chain two, and back post treble around the first double crochet. Then three stitches in this center stitch, this center double crochet. So it's a back post treble a double crochet and a back post treble, and then a back post treble around the last stitch, and then chain two, skip the chain two space, skip this double crochet, double crochet, and the next two stitches, and then a modified back post treble. and a double crochet in this stitch. There we go. Now we have finished the first sequence on the leafy lace stitch for row three. Let me execute that two more times and I will meet you at the end of the row and show you how to finish it out. So I've executed the three leaf sequences. This is the wrong side of the work and I'm working on row three. 
I have finished my last modified back post treble right here. Now I need to finish out the end of the row. And just as before, it's double crochet in the next two stitches. Chain one, double crochet, skip the chain space, double crochet in the top of the double crochet, chain one, skip the chain space, double crochet in the next double crochet, and double crochet in this double crochet if you choose, or you can do as I do, and that is drop down in between, pull up the loop a little longer, and finish your last double crochet. It creates a smoother edge. All right, chain two and turn. We're heading into row four. We've chained two and turned. Okay, so we are at the beginning of row four. So just as before, we double crochet in the first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one. Skip the chain one space, double crochet. Chain one. Double crochet in the next two double crochets. And then we are at the modified front post treble. And let me do that again for you. Yarn over twice, go around the post of that previous treble, leave two loops on the hook. Now yarn over, go into those two loops right there. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three. Now it's double crochet in the next stitch, skip this stitch, and chain two. Now it's front post treble in these next two stitches. Yarn over twice, front post treble. Now we need to, around this middle stitch or this double crochet, we need to execute a front post treble, a double crochet in those two loops, and a front post treble all around the post of this stitch. So one front post treble up top and one will go underneath and the double crochet in those top two loops. So let's execute the front post treble because we're coming in from the front. Now a double crochet in those loops, kind of shove that out of the way, double crochet. Now a front post treble around the post. It will naturally drop below. There we go. You can see those three stitches together. Doesn't that look neat? Now, front post treble in these next two stitches. Okay, that looks nice. Now chain two. Skip the chain two space, skip the double crochet and one double crochet. Now modified front post treble. Find those two loops. There we go. All three. And we have executed one leaf sequence. Now you've noticed we are down to, we've been decreasing, we're down to one stitch. Now we're going to start decreasing to make the leaf in row five. Row five is where the decreases begin, and I'll show you how to do that. It's a lot of fun. You get to the end of row five, and I'll show you how to finish row five. It's just the same as the end of row four, but I do want to show you how to finish that. I'm at the end of row five, so let me finish. So it's two double crochets, basically a double crochet. So it's a double crochet in the next two stitches chain one, skip the chain one space, double crochet in the double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the last two or down in that space. Now chain two and turn. I want to point out something. As you're making the leaf, you're expanding in stitches in the middle and then decreasing on the double crochet stitches that are on either side. 
Now we're going to start making the leaf smaller. We're, we will be decreasing and using these center stitches to decrease. So then we will be adding double crochet stitches along the way. You'll see how intuitive this pattern is, but let's make a turn and begin. Row five. So double crochet in the first two double crochets, chain one, double crochet in this, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next two double crochets, then the modified front back post treble stitch. All right, now we execute a double crochet in this double crochet and then put a double crochet in the chain two space. So we're decreasing now, but yet we're expanding on this side. So now chain two, execute a back post treble around the first two treble stitches. Now we are going to back post treble three together. These three stitches, we will back post three together. Now let me show you how to do that. One, yarn over twice, go through to the back, from the back, yarn over, pull through two twice, leave these two loops on the hook. Make a, make a back post treble around this double crochet yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, leave the three loops on the hook. Yarn, back post treble around the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We have four loops remaining on the hook, so we yarn over, pull through all four. That was three back post treble stitches together. Now it's a back post treble and a back post treble on the next two stitches. Chain two and chain and a double crochet in this chain space. Double crochet in this next double crochet and then a modified back post treble around the post of this previous treble. treble. There, I put a double crochet right there. And we have finished this sequence. And as you can see, the leaf is getting smaller. We expanded, now we're getting smaller, and it will be a little bit more noticeable in row six. Let me get to the end of row five. You know how the end works. I'm going to turn and chain and turn and I'm going to start you on row six right here right here I'm not going to continue to repeat all that you know how that works so right here I'll join you right here at this modified front post treble on row six so we are beginning the leaf sequence of row six I spared you the beginning because I've showed that to you a few times. Going to do the modified front post treble. I will execute a double crochet in this stitch, a double crochet in this stitch, and then a double crochet right here in the chain two space. Then chain two. Then I will execute a front post treble in this stitch. Then I will front post treble three together and that will include this stitch, and this is now one stitch right here, and this stitch. Let me show you how to do that. Let's start with a modified front post treble. And then the double crochet in the loop, two loops behind. There we go. So now it's double crochet, double crochet, and the next two double crochets double crochet in this chain two space, chain two, now front post, treble, now 
Now front post treble three together. These three, one, two, three. Yarn over twice. Pull through two, pull through two, leave the remaining two on the hook. Yarn over twice. This is one stitch. I slide it under just like that. Pull it around. I now have five on the hook, five loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, over, pull through two. Have three on the hook. Then it's yarn over, pull, yarn over twice. Front to back. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. You have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all four, and that makes one stitch. Then front post treble on that last one, chain two, and a double crochet in the chain two space. Just a second and I'll pull back and let you see the leaf. Then double crochet in the next and then a modified front post treble. All right, let's pull back and look at this. Oh, we are just about finished with this leaf. We have three stitches remaining on the top of this leaf. One, two, three. We executed three together by going around those three that were below. So you can see now we're starting to increase on the double crochets that are on the side as this leaf gets smaller. Let me get to the let me get to the end. Let me get to this end, make a turn and get to round 7 and I will meet you here at this modified back post. The beginning of the next leaf of row 7. I've executed row seven to the point of the modified back post treble. So let me do that for you. There's the modified, we go around that post. Did you see that? I don't think I showed that very well. Let me yarn over twice going around that post. There we go. Come on loop. Two loops remaining, double crochet pull through all three. Now, double crochet in the next three stitches. And then execute a double crochet in this chain two space. Then chain two, so you have beyond the front modified back post treble, you have one, two, three, four double crochets and a chain two space. Now we need to Crochet these three stitches together. One, two, three. So back post treble. Leave those on the hook. Yarn over twice around the post of all three. It looks like all three, but it's really one stitch, but it's around that large post. One, pull through two, twice. Have three on the hook. Yarn over. Caught a loop, hold on there. Pull through two, pull through two, four on the hook, yarn over and close that stitch. All right, so you can see from the back we have a leaf and from the front we have a leaf. Let's chain two, let's finish out this sequence. Chain two, execute a double crochet in the chain in the chain two space or under. I don't go into the chain two space, but you can if you choose. Double crochet in the next three. And then a modified back post treble. All right, let's turn it around and look. This is the front of your work. It looks a, makes a very nice leaf, doesn't it? This would be beautiful in a solid color. Let me get to the end of round seven and then show you what round eight looks like because we will be beginning the leaf sequence again by executing 
three double crochets right in the top of this stitch. All right, let me go all the way to the end and make the turn, come back around and show you where to make those three double crochets. All right, we're at row eight. We do have a completed leaf, but I wanna show you how to start another leaf sequence because you're going to want to build up and make 14 sequences of leaves, 14 leaves on top of each other for the for this crochet wrap. So modified front post treble, double crochet in the next three stitches, Skip this double crochet and the chain two. Now chain two and three double crochets in the top of this stitch. Chain two. Skip this first double crochet and double crochet in the next three. and a modified front post treble. Now, as you can see, we're starting to build another leaf sequence. So there you have it. Let's build more leaf sequences. The beginning of the row and the end of the row is always the same, very simple. Next, I'll be showing you how to do the border with the double wrapped, double crochet cluster stitches. Let's get started. And you're ready to move on to the border. And the border is simple. It is a chain two and turn and then double crochet all the way across, executing a double crochet in each stitch and you will have 57 double crochets. Then you chain one and turn and then execute the moss or the linen stitch. Then you chain four and then you chain four and turn and execute a treble chain one mesh sequence. Then you will start making the double wrapped double crochet cluster. But first you have to find a place to put these double crochet clusters in and you will do that by making chain five arches. And as you can see there is a treble chain one skipped between each chain five arch. Okay, so we're going to move on to the border. We've executed one sequence of the leafy lace stitch. Now, if you've made the entire wrap, you will have made 14, 13, 12, however long you want your wrap to be. So this is the front. We were working on the wrong side. Whoops, I just took out a double crochet. So now I need to execute a double crochet in the last two stitches and I'm going to chain two and turn. This is the beginning of the border. So this is row one of the border and it's double crochet in each stitch and chain across. So there I've executed a double crochet in each of those first two double crochets. You can go into the chain if you choose, but I'm just going to go under this chain. A double crochet in this double crochet, a double crochet in under the chain, a double crochet in the next two double crochets, a double crochet in the modified treble post stitch, a double crochet in the next four double crochets. That's two. Whoops. Split my yarn. This yarn is very good not to split. That was entirely my fault. I handled myself incorrectly. So that's four. Now when I get to the chain two space, I do like to go into the chain for my double crochet. So into the first chain. This helps me keep track of my stitches into the second chain. I wanna show you what that looks like. Into that second chain. And then into that treble stitch three together. 
that makes one stitch into this stitch and then across. So this is the first chain of that chain two. You have to find it and work with it a little bit. And a double crochet in the next chain. I just don't want to put both of those in that spot and create a bunched area. And then we continue. Double crochet across, all the way across. So double crochet, double crochet, double crochet double crochet in the modified stitch and then one two three four double crochets and one two and i will have 57 double crochets when i finish this row now you may hear my grandson chirping and making noise it's summer and he's at granny's house and he's enjoying his time here i hope that's okay with you let's get back to the row we have 57 double crochets and as you can see i've executed a double crochet in each stitch across i have three more left to finish. All right, so let me finish the, these last three double crochet stitches. So double crochet in that chain one, double crochet in these last two, and I like to pop down into that space between the turning chain. Now it's chain one and turn. This is a very easy round. So you single crochet, so single crochet in the first stitch, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. So there you have it. Single crochet, chain one, skip that stitch, single crochet, chain one, skip that stitch, single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch all the way across, and I'll meet you at, at the, end, the of end of row two. I'm at the end of row two. I've chained one, I'm going to skip this stitch and then single crochet in the last stitch. And chain four and turn. This chain four will count as a treble crochet. So I'm turning, now I'm executing a treble in the chain one space right here. Now chain one and skip the single crochet and treble in the next chain one space. That didn't work well. Chain one and treble in the next chain space. And then a chain one and a treble in the next chain one space, chain one, treble in the next chain one space, chain one, treble in the next chain one space, all the way across. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. The end of the row, you will execute a treble in the chain one space, then do not chain one, but treble in this last single crochet. And that's how you end that row. So I'm at the end of row three. There's a chain one right here. Now I need to execute a treble in this chain one space. And then a treble in the single crochet right beside that chain one space. There we have that. Now we need to chain two and turn. Chain two and turn. Chain two does not count as a stitch. And I execute a double crochet in the first stitch. And in the next stitch, now chain five. I'm going to skip this chain one space and execute a single crochet in this treble. Chain five. Skip the chain one space, treble, and the next chain one space single crochet in this treble. Chain five. And just as before, skip the chain one space, the treble, the chain one space, and then execute a single crochet in the next treble. And there we have chain five arches. This looks a little bunchy right here, but that will even out. Now let's do this all the way across. I'm at the end of row four. I've executed all of these chain five arches and I've skipped a chain and a treble between each. My last single crochet was here. Now I execute one last 
chain five, and double crochet in this last treble. And double crochet in the fourth chain of that turning chain four that counts as a treble. All right, now we're moving on to the double wrapped double crochet cluster. So chain two, this does not count as a stitch, and turn. Double crochet in the first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. So let's execute our first double wrapped double crochet cluster in the chain five space. So no chain spaces. We execute three double crochets. Now these three double crochets are all considered one post. And we're going to double crochet around those three double crochets, just like that. So it's very easy. You just kind of turn your stitch sideways, yarn over, and just act like you're doing a double crochet. And it makes a wrapped cluster. Doesn't that look nice? Let me do the next one for you. So it's three double crochets. When you get used to this stitch, you will find that you are flying. Okay, so turn it sideways just a little bit, yarn over. This is the hole. We're gonna wrap around all three. You pull this kind of taut. One. Two. And that makes a double wrapped double crochet cluster. Let's do that one more time. And I call it a cluster because feels a little bit like a popcorn, but it's more like a cluster. Let me get these three double crochets in here. And like I said, you'll get so you're just flying through this. All right, yarn over. I've got my hole. Pulled it taut. Double crochet. Pulled it taut. Double crochet. And isn't that a beautiful stitch? All right, so you do this all the way across the row to the end, and then you execute two double crochets right here at the end. Let me get to the end of row five and I'll show you how to turn and go into rounds, row six. I am at the end of row five. You can see all of these double wrapped double crochet clusters and this stitch has a little bit of weight to it and it feels a little bit like a popcorn, but it's not. Anyway, I am at the last double wrapped double crochet cluster. I have executed three double crochets. I'm going to finish this last double wrapped double crochet cluster for you. Now, no chains or anything, just go ahead and double crochet in this next to last stitch and then double crochet. If you choose, put your hook down in between the turning chain and the double crochet and that is how you finish row five and then you chain two and turn and just like before and just like before the chain two does not count as a stitch and you execute two double crochets right here a double crochet in the first stitch a double crochet in the next stitch and then chain five and then bypass the wrapped stitch and execute a single crochet between the double crochet cluster. Now, I don't go under all of, the, all of the loops. I feel like with the weight of the stitch, it makes the bobbles and clusters to tip forward. So I go under the top two loops. Very easy, all the way across. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. In that stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet between in that stitch the clusters. All right, do that all the way across. 
that is setting up for the next round of double wrap, double crochet clusters. And I'll meet you at the end of this round and we'll do one more row of double wrapped, double crochet clusters. I'm at the end of row six. I have executed all of these chain five arches. Now I've executed my last chain five arch and I don't execute a stitch right here. I just bypass that and execute a double crochet in the last two double crochets. Chain two and turn does not count as a stitch. Now this is the right side of your work where these double crochet, where these double wrapped double crochet clusters are. So double crochet in the first two stitches. And a double wrapped double crochet cluster. So three double crochets. Now wrap this first little space is a little hard to find. So I like to slide those first three over. All right, now turn slightly and execute two double crochets around these three. And just as before, three double crochets. Keep a good tension here. Not a tight tension, but keep a good tension. Okay, one more cluster slowed down. <clears throat> I will hurriedly do the three double crochets. That's her as fast as I can. All right, I have the three double crochets. So it's, I'm opening up this hole, this hole right here. Open it up, yarn over, wrap around, kind of taut, double crochet. Yarn over, wrap around, kind of taut, a double crochet. Whoops, didn't get that. So there you have it. Very pretty stitch, very easy to do. Let me finish this row, then finish one more row of chain five arches, and then I will show you the very last edge on the border. I'll be right back. So I am ready to show you this edge pico stitch that goes onto this last row of chain five arches. Now, I do need to tell you that there need to be five rows of clusters, and you will end with a chain five arch. Chain one, and turn. So you finished your five rows of clusters and then your last chain five arch. So single crochet in the first two double crochets. It's a chain one and turn by the way. Chain one and turn and single crochet in the first two double crochets. Then single crochet two times. Under the chain five. Then execute a pico. Let me get let me rework that. And a pico is chain 3 and slip stitch back into that first chain. All right, now it's two single crochets in the arch under the chain 5 and a single crochet in the single crochet two single crochets, a pico, one, two, three, slip stitch right back in that chain one space, and two single crochets, and a single crochet. And that is how you finish the edge on the leafy lace wrap. So let me show you how to execute the second border. You will be ex working from the wrong side of the leafy lace wrap. This is the right side, so I need to flip this over and I'm working from the wrong side. I'll be putting my stitches in the free loop that is right there. I will make a slip knot 
put the slip knot on my hook, then this is my first loop. And while the slip knot is on my hook, I will insert into the first free loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop, I have two, and then yarn over, and I have just attached with a single crochet. Now I'm going to chain one, <clears throat> skip this stitch, and single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip this stitch, and single crochet. And then just continue to make the border just as you did on the other end. The only difference is, is that you're working in the free loop. You're working from the wrong, wrong side. You attach with a single crochet and then just work the border. And then you should have... Well, what did you think of the least bead lace wrap? And what did you think of this leafy lace stitch? I love it. I don't know if you love it, but I love it. And I love the border. It has a little bit of weight to it so that it hangs and drapes very nicely. I hope you will tell others about this unique leafy lace stitch that Stacy has designed. And I hope you'll tell others about Chrissy's Over the Mountain Crochet and Crafts. I hope you'll like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you'll like and subscribe to Stacy's channel. She's a good friend of mine. You won't regret a minute of watching her videos. It was good to have you on my side of the mountain. Bye.